Guess where I am. Come on. Guess. All right, I'll give you a hint. This town was originally a fisherman's village. They have over 1,200 bridges here. If you go to the cinema, you could grab yourself a beer. And I don't mean any paper cup beer. I mean a glass of beer. And on the French fries here, do you know what they put? Mayonnaise. You guessed it right. I'm in Amsterdam. Can you smell it? No. Is it legal? Welcome to the city of freedom. Liberalism here is at its highest, and here you can literally get it all, if you know what I mean, right? Now, the streets here also have a, a large and quite surprising variety of food. Now, I have 24 hours to see, smell, and taste everything the streets of Amsterdam has to offer. Well, it is um, approximately 8.19 in the morning. Good time for a coffee. And that shouldn't be a problem because Holland is known to be one of the top five countries as much as coffee consumption is uh, considered. The average Dutch will consume 150 liters of coffee a year. That's six times more than the British. Again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like a cafe latte, please. Do you mean a coffee verkeerd? I, I'm sorry? A coffee for, for who? Coffee verkeerd. Oh, coffee verkeerd. What yeah. does that mean, coffee verkeerd? Exactly, it means wrong coffee. Why is it wrong then? Uh, because here in Holland we don't drink coffee with milk. Then how do you drink your coffee then? Uh, we drink it black. Black? Black. Simple. Black, strong, straight on. All right. I like your attitude, so I'll have it the Dutch way. Black. Okay. Here you go. Thank you very, very much. Here we go. Ah, very nice. You know what they say? Once you go black, you can't go back. Amsterdam is the city of bicycles. It has 400 kilometers of bicycle paths, 25 special parking rights for bicycles, and over a million bicycles. And this is in a city with only 700,000 inhabitants. Fried potatoes are called French fries, but they were originated in Belgium. But the best fries in the world are here in Holland. Are you confused? Well, so am I. But all I know is that I'm queuing up to taste the best fries in Amsterdam. 22 minutes. We'll get there in the end. Well, it's uh, about uh, 27 and a half minutes or so, and still here waiting. I made it! I'm here! I can't wait to taste your french fries. Yes. So give me your best portion then. Okay. And you want some peanut sauce for the taste? Peanut sauce? Yes. Yeah, of course. Try it. Wow. What makes your french fries so outstanding? I think we do it with love and with passion. Can okay. I come inside and watch? Yes. All right. So this is where you keep the potatoes. Yes. And you have potatoes and potatoes and some more potatoes. How much potatoes do you have in there? 300 kilos. All that for today? Yeah. 300 kilos, wow. 
And this is the, here we cook it the first time. Yeah. What do you mean the first time? Yeah, but we, we, we fried it to, twice. So is that the secret? Oh, well, everybody knows that. Not that yeah. And then I we knew have that. this machine. You put the potato put in the there. Potato here and push slice it, it, dice it up. How long does it wait until the second round? About half an hour. And here it goes into the last part yes. of the process. And there we come. And straight out to the customer. Yes, exactly. How many types of we sauce? About 22. 22 different, different yeah. sauces. So what do you have here? This is tartare. It's all based on mayonnaise. But this okay. is with herbs. This is with vegetables. This is samurai. It's very spicy. Yes. Samurai. What would be the most popular that people order? This one and just regular mayonnaise. What's it called? Orlo. 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 Why is it called yeah. Orlo? Many people put onions, so it's actually a mess totally. Yeah? Oh, so it I looks like, like a wasm. Yeah, something like All that. All right, yeah. so could I have some onions? Yes. I'm there. The moment has arrived. I'm going to taste it. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the longest queue I've ever seen yes. for French fries in my life. But it's worth it. I want to thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Good fries, huh? Cheers. It's lunchtime. Now, being in Amsterdam and not having herring is like being in New York and not having a New York cheesecake or being in Naples and not having a pizza napolitana. I mean, that's why they call Amsterdam Herring Dam. Well, they don't call it that, actually. But, well, it's a good idea, isn't it? Herring Dam. I'm a bit of a genius, ain't I? Hello. Hi. I heard a lot about your herring. You must uh, taste it. Yeah, I'd love to. Can I come inside? Yes, you're welcome. This is the herring. herring. It's the where, Dutch herring. Where is it from? Uh, the North Sea. This is a very nice color. Eh? How do you know that it's good? This is plankton. Plankton is what they eat? Yes, and this is the best color. This is the plankton? This is the plankton, yeah. yeah. So when you open the herring, we want the plankton to be nice and orangey and pinkish, kind of. Yeah. You're like a doctor. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. In your spare time, you can do some surgery. <laughs> the doctor, uh, uh, get your head. Uh, yeah. okay. The operation this is, this is, is successful, but yes, the patient's yes. dead. You take out the whole. Okay. There you this. go. Do you sing when you work? Or? No, 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 no. No, okay. I cannot sing with my wife. Oh, uh, I see. She's a hard demand. For how many years have you been doing this? For 40 years. And you, Tinika? 23. So you brought her into, your, into the herring business? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're beautiful. You're making me a herring sandwich. All right, so here we have the yes. perfect traditional Amsterdam herring. You take the tail end. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's really good. I feel like a Viking or something. Viking, no, yes. Yeah, yeah. sir. You want to oh, grab? Uh, give me that fish. A oh. pirate. Mm. Pirate. <laughs> but tell me, why do you think it's so popular? 1600, eh? the people was poor. Yes. Eh? And Obviously. Now, this was very cheap. Simple Good. food for the simple, simple people. And that's exactly the kind of food that, that I love. Well, thank you very, very yeah. much. Yes, you're and welcome. Just before I go, I want for my blog, maybe you could photo us. Is that okay? You just, it's very simple. You just push here the record, right? Yeah, it's working. Oh, okay. All right. This is Ari, the herring man. Herring! Herring! Holland is the flower capital of the world. And I'm here to sniff in and enjoy the FFFMA, which is the fantastic flower floating market of Amsterdam. Can't smell anything. Now, Dutch cuisine is based on fresh food and high quality goods. And the ultimate place to shop for this kind of cuisine will definitely be here in the Albert Kuip market, which is also the largest street food market in Holland. When you talk about Dutch cheese, 60% of the cheese that's uh, produced here in Holland will be Gouda cheese. Can I taste some Gouda? Yes. 
this is Dutch traditional Gouda. The most of the Dutch people eat this uh, on bread. Great. Oh, it's very good, very rich. I have here also Gouda, four years old. And uh, most of the Dutch people eat this uh, by drinking wine. So it becomes orange when it ages. When it ages, it becomes orange. Mm. You like it? Yeah. It's a very deep taste. Beautiful. What's this thing there? It's bait. Is it that thing? Yes, that one. Bait with um, uh, walnuts. This is a dado tart with walnuts. So you take this thing yes. and you take, take some, uh, some cheese. cheese. This one is made with truffle. My God. Oh, you taste the taste of the cheese better. Mmm. Wow, it's cheesy and it's sweet <laughs> and it's um, um, uh, nutty. And that's amazing. <laughs> I'll take a dadle tart. Yes. And maybe some cheese that goes maybe with it. Maybe some cheese, okay, yeah. lovely. Thank you very much. Excuse me, what are you eating? Meatball. Yep. And is it typical Dutch food? It is. Broodje bal. Broodje bal. Yep. Wow, let's check it out. I like a broodje bal, please. Yeah, For how long do you cook it? Uh, one day. Oh, it's great. Like, lekker, lekker, lekker eten. And how does the lekker, lekker song go? Lekker eten. Lekker eten. Some Dutch mayo there. There you go. And you squish it all together into a sandwich. One broodje bal, meatballs that were cooked 24 hours and are now going to enter my hungry stomach. Mmm, the Dutch are very good at football and very good at meatballs. It's 3.27 in the afternoon precisely and you know what that means. It's snack time. Croquette is one of Holland's most popular snacks and also adorned by the renowned and feared food critic Johannes van Damme, whose critique can make or break any restaurant in Amsterdam. Hello, Johannes. Hi. I'm so happy you could meet with me. Why is it that you chose to meet here? I have the best croquettes in town. In your opinion? Yes, of course. But you are the master of the croquettes, maybe in the entire I'm world? I'm writing a book about the croquettes. I've studied the history. What is croquette? A croquette is a deep-fried uh, product that used to be served as a posh starter for fancy meals. Are there different kinds of croquettes? There are at least a hundred different recipes for croquettes. A hundred different recipes for yes, croquettes? Yes, yes. What is the basic foundation that doesn't change? It's a soft interior and, and a crispy outside. But uh, the soft interior can be anything. It can be potato puree, it can be uh, fish, it can be uh, veal, it can be something with mm. cheese. Oh, here it Which comes. Which means... Thank you. So this is the croquette? The, these are two examples of the croquette. Uh, how did croquette become street food then? Well, in Holland, the socialists decreed that shops should close at six o'clock. So the bakers opened little windows in their shops and started making things that they could sell through this little window without people entering the shop. And one of the things they used to make was croquettes. It became street food. A croquette is actually Dutch yes. street well, food. Well, it's not, yes. Okay, so let's taste. It's very, very good. Do you think I could try your veal? Looks yeah. really nice. Do you want some of my shrimp? Yeah. All right, here we okay, go. We'll, here, we'll here swap. Here you go. Maybe you can take a photo of me eating my croquette. All right. Let's have a taste of this veal croquette with Johannes Van Damme, the man mm. and the legend. Okay, put it in your mouth. Ah, home. Mm. Well, it makes me hungry just looking at you. Let's order another one then. <laughs> well, I want to thank you very much for this conversation. It was a pleasure. Whenever I'm in the neighborhood, be sure Give I'm me gonna... a call. All right. Yeah. The Dutch, they love cakes and cookies. The origin of the word cookie is in Dutch. The most famous cookie of them all will be the Stroopwafel, and I'm going to taste one right now. Hello. Hello, sir. I heard that this is the best Stroopwafel in Amsterdam. Are you right? Great. 
Do you think I could maybe come inside and, and yeah, you yeah, could yeah. show me a bit? Be careful, my bird is waiting on you. Oh, my bird is eating wow. the strong bubbles too. That is amazing. She only likes my bubble. If the bird loves your stroop waffle, I have to try it as well. I'm coming around. Teach I me the, the art of the stroop waffle. Yeah, you right. make it by yourself. I'd love to. Um, a little bit dull. This, this, I don't know what to do. Yeah. What? This song? Pick this up. Yeah. In it goes. What is that? That's the dough. And now I squish and you put it. Put them down, please. All right. Put it down. Squish the dough. About uh, 30 <laughs> seconds. Now, what's the secret? What What makes what's your stroop waffle so special? I can't tell you. I'm oh. sorry. Well, don't, don't think we'll get the secret at this yeah. time. So the 30 30 seconds are yeah. up. Okay. Well, you open it up. I open it. What do you put inside? I put inside the syrup. Cane sugar with cinnamon. This is very traditional, isn't it? That's right. How many years has this been made in, in Holland? 200 years. I don't throw the bread uh, away, but I refill oh, them. It's, a... it's called a poor cookie. Well, it's a poor cookie because you take the leftovers yeah. from all the bread. Wow, that's, that's a great story. It's a bakery in Gouda. Right. Makes the first one. <sighs> Kaura. Ah, that's right. Now I really need a stroop waffle after that whole thing. You hold them flat this way, otherwise the syrup runs out. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm smiling. It's lekker. 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 Yeah, lekker. Lekker. Okay, here you go. Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. And for you, sir? Here you go. Hi. Three. Three. Here you go. Well, in England, they've got their five o'clock tea. Here in Amsterdam, you've got your five o'clock beer. It's called the Burrell Hour, and it's named after the glass in which they used to serve alcohol in. A good beer is one that you share with a good friend. Now, my good friend, Jeroen, has invited me for a beer, and maybe for a bit more than that. Smell the yeast, you get this beer sensation. A very nice brewery from the Netherlands. It's a very small brewery. Straight to the chase, you know, no beating about the bush. Go. Are these special glasses? These are special tasting glasses. Right, Here you thank go. you. For happiness. Happiness. Happiness and joy. Start with happiness. Yeah, very good Dutch beer. All right. Yeah. My God, yeah. very, very fresh. Celebrating here. In the Netherlands, we have one tradition. At the end of the year, we have uh, pork beer. Yeah. Which means? It, it's a dark beer. And, and now we have here at this festival all the dish brewers that make pork beer, 84 beers. So take me to the next beer that you think will represent the, the, Holland. Let's finish this beer here. And you, oh, no, what, what, it's, it's what just, are you doing? We, we are tasting. Now, if worse comes to worse, we're just going to have to taste all 84 beers, all right? Okay, no, no problem, no problem. One by no, one. Let, let's, stop You're let's stop here. This beer is being brought uh, by a group of amateur brewers. So let's let's try it. Here's for some uh, real street food, street let's drink. Great taste. Ah, very yeah, nice. Sweet. Now, where were we? Okay. I'm starting to... Uh, well, I will present you the best tasting Dutch bark from the Netherlands. All right, here we go. The taste, the sweetness. I it's like so it. Fun. The belief in this, the, the, how you enjoy the beer, the how you believe in it. How you believe in, in the beer. There. I believe in you. Mm. Wow. How do you say cheers in Dutch? Prost. Well, Jan. Prost. 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 Well, it's one o'clock here in the AM. Munch time here in Amsterdam. So if you get a bit peckish in the middle of the night, there is one establishment 
that will answer all your needs. Speciality Casa Souffle. Hello. Oh, hey. There's a man here. What? Oh my God! Uh, hey. The man behind the machine. What can I do for you? I'm interested in a late okay. night munch. What's the most popular uh, here? Yeah? This is cheese souffle. You should try it. It's vegetarian. All right. So let me. Uh... Here we go. This is fun. It Put is fun. It is fun. Yes. The little yes. Slot. For how long has this establishment been around? 70 years. This was how did these machines operate 70 uh, years ago? Uh, these machines were there uh, almost uh, longer than 70 years Wait, ago. Let's see. But but I see they're digital and you know they're yeah, what, they, they were they we, were manual. We've been improvising it. It's just been changing with the time. But always behind the machine there will be people making. Yes. Is the food fresh? Uh, yes. We they, can hold it for 15 to 20 minutes oh, and then and then, have, then, and then you will destroy. Oh, so it's always fresh. Could we see how it works behind yes, sure. the scenes? I will show you. We are entering the machine. So how does it work? These are all heated plates. We have a thermostat. The money goes in there into yeah, the these... money comes in here. Oh, in these little uh, safes, the boxes. Little safes and, then, yeah. and where do you prepare the food? It comes prepared from the main kitchen. We get delivered every day fresh in the morning. All right. In the uh, and in the evening, we store it here. Why do you think this is so popular in the Netherlands? In the Netherlands, it's very common. You just take it out from the slot machine and you just uh -huh. munch it while you're on the way. You just put the money, you just put walk money away. And you're it's, off, it's you quick. don't yeah, have to. No. So how can I help then? I'll give you, so now you find your way how to fill it up. All right, catch you later then. This is uh, missing here, you got one here. Anything missing? Ah, oh, damn, pressure, pressure. Isn't that as easy as it looks? Okay, and we now. shut the door. Yeah. And wait for clients. Let's see if they're coming. Yeah. Well, not at the moment, but they're on their way, I guess.